Welcome to our XConnect series on XPF Server Roles. My name is Jason Sanisiano and today we will look at scaling options for the XPF server architecture. What is the Experience Platform Foundation? You're likely very familiar with the way our products break out in terms of XM, XP, and Commerce, and our various modules. Where does XPF fit in here? The Experience Platform Foundation operates at the base of our entire marketing platform. This encompasses data collection, processing, reporting, and automation. XConnect provides a connection layer for you to store and retrieve information from the collection database, also known as XDB. With XConnect and the Experience Platform Foundation, we now have a variety of services that are available. Each of these, we can start scaling out to provide better ability to collect, aggregate, search, and report. Vertical scaling, or scaling up, allows you to add additional resources such as CPU and RAM to applications within your topology. This allows the individual components to handle more visits, cache more data, or execute more parallel streams. So what's changed? With Sitecore 9, the traditional roles and databases are still there and can be scaled up just as you did before. However, the platform has greatly expanded the number of applications and databases that can be scaled up to support the new Experience Platform Foundation. This gives you a more fine grained control over where you want to add your additional resources. Special note Collection DB is now supported in SQL Server, and this means the teams familiar with SQL Server's vertical scaling can bring this knowledge to scaling the collection database. In the Sitecore 9 series updates, we're also going to bring back NoSQL support for Azure Document DB slash Cosmos DB and also MongoDB. Let's get into horizontal scaling, shall we? All the classic Sitecore databases, core, master, web, support the ability to deliver them on a dedicated server. Experimental support is also available for transaction replication of the web database, but in general, these databases cannot be replicated. It's generally recommended to scale out processing, reporting, and analytics databases onto their own dedicated server. Now, the collection database can be served by a dedicated server, but also supports horizontally scaling using sharding. You should note, though, at the moment, the number of shards can't be altered after the initial configuration, so you should plan your sharding accordingly. So beyond databases, we can also scale the applications out. The classic roles for content management, processing, reporting, and content delivery, they maintain their horizontal scaling capabilities from previous versions. First, scale out initially, role by role. Except for reporting, you can then scale up to multiple instances as well. Now the new XConnect service roles, you can start with everything all together. This is what we call an XP0. We can start with collection search automation reference data roles and start separating them out. The first step would be to take collection and search, separate them to a dedicated instance. We could then separate the collection from the search service so that each of them has a dedicated instance. We could take reference data, split that out into its own role and put the automations on another instance. We can also isolate each of the automation services so that they each have dedicated servers. At this stage, we've created what's known as an XP1 topology. Every service and core role is performed by a dedicated server for web applications. Each of these roles can also be scaled out individually behind a load balancer. Now, while many combinations are possible, uh, not everything's been tested in every single possible permutation. So the XP0 that we started with, everything together, and the XP1 where we put everything apart, those are the standard configurations well known. You might want to go and check in the documentation though to make sure you know which of the other in-between scenarios have actually been validated. Beyond the services, we also have worker services. Although it's possible to scale out the XConnect search service, there can be only one instance of the XConnect search indexer. 
So if we were in Azure, this would mean that you could have a web job with one instance and it could fail over to another instance, but they wouldn't run concurrently. Unlike the XConnect search indexer, the marketing automation engine does support multiple instances. So let's say we were in Azure, you could take a web job and you could have another web job and they could go concurrently on all the instances of that marketing automation services. To wrap things up, let's take a look at all of the scaling options we reviewed today. Between Sitecore instances and service roles and worker services and databases, we have a lot of points where we can scale out dedicated instances to meet demand. All of these scaling options give so much flexibility to our customers, and we need to be able to make sure we understand where can we go up and where can we go out. Thanks so much for listening. Have a great day.